Hey everyone, welcome to my March bullet journal spread. I feel like January took forever to end and February has gone in the blink of an eye. <laughs> but here we are, we are setting up for March. So I'm starting as usual with my monthly title page and I'm using some brown notepad paper that I've had probably honestly for about two years and some washi tape. <laughs> so pretty simple, pretty easy. So I've written the word March on the brown paper and then I'm going to be using a bunch of kind of neutral colours to create a random shaped pattern. Just basically a load of blobs of colour <laughs> all within the same colour range. And then I will just use my black pen and then hand draw some patterns over the top. I saw a couple of patterns like this on Pinterest actually, it's where I got the idea from and I just really like the look of it. It's like a little bit quirky for me because I'm not normally this adventurous in my bullet journal. <laughs> and then after I had finished, I felt like March needed a little, a little pop because it was getting a bit lost. So I added a drop shadow and then took a highlighter to color the bottom half. For my next page, it's going to be my monthly view calendar. So like I said, I am going to be doing a bit of a, a, a mix of things. I'm not sure what the official name for it is, but I'm going to call it a scrapbook bullet journal spread. <laughs> so I took to Pinterest and I just searched for kind of neutral patterns or quotes or anything that I liked. And once I had downloaded them on my phone, I hopped over to Photoshop and made like a big collage really of all of the different images that I have downloaded and then printed them out. I printed them out on sticker paper, but of course you can print them out onto normal paper. So you can just cut them up and stick them into your bullet journal. I've also got these stickers that I made a while ago because I was actually going to bring some bullet journal stickers into my shop, which I never did. It's, it's not happened, but I thought it's a great time to use them because the colors were pretty much what I needed. So I just stuck one of the images down on the side and one of the stickers that were from my sheets, which I'd originally made for the title page where I normally write hello and then whatever month it is. And then here I'm just drawing out a really basic grid. I made it completely square. So there are some kind of boxes at the bottom that aren't in this calendar, but I would just cross them off when I need to. So here I'm taking two highlighter pens that are similar in color. And for some reason, highlighter pen lids are incredibly hard to get off. There is no sane reason why a pen lid should be that hard. Anyway, that's a whole nother rant. So I just wrote down the dates on top of the little orange date blobs. And then here I've just wrote March at the top and then I'm doodling on some vines, which look a little bit like deer antlers from far away, but maybe I should have colored them green. <laughs> And then I'm also taking a black pen and just kind of doodling on top of the image of what's already there, just to make it pop out a little bit more. At the bottom, I'm taking two swatch stickers from the sheets from my, they're not from my shop, but they're my things. <laughs> um, one is for goals and the other one is for growth for my Etsy, YouTube, Instagram and Facebook. I always include a quote somewhere within my bullet journal spread. So I did print out one of the images extra large just for my quote page. And here I am just kind of arranging the stickers before I peel the back off to make sure they're where I want them to be because I've never done this kind of scrapbooking situation before. It was actually, I came across a lady on YouTube. I'll link her down below. She speaks zero English. Actually, that's a lie. She will say, hello YouTube, and then she's off speaking a thousand miles an hour in her beautiful language that I literally have no idea what she's saying, but I find her video so captivating. And that's where I was like, oh my goodness, people like make scrapbooks in their bullet journals. What a great idea. And here we are. I probably could have gone a lot more crazy with my scrapbooking skills, but I was just afraid of just ruining everything. <laughs> but um, 
I write down my quote. My quote is from Charles Dickens, Great Expectations. And then I just hand doodled a few patterns around the edges and also stuck some little circles down so I can write things that I am grateful for throughout March. On the other side, I'm using some more of that brown paper and I'm just cut a rectangle shape that was the width of my page and then folded in a little bit on three of the sides. And then here I'm making almost like a house shape. So I've got a rectangle, but it's got a triangle on top. I'm not that good at explaining, so hopefully you guys will see what I'm doing too. But here I've just taken some card, which is within my color scheme, and I'm actually making a spring cleaning list. This is my spring cleaning page. So these are going to be my lists, and I'm going to be sorting them into different rooms. So each room will have its own list. And I thought I would rip these out rather than cut them, so they're a bit more jaggedy edged and more scrapbooky. I'm air quoting, but you can't see me do that. <laughs> Once I had labeled all of these with different rooms, I then put some bullet points on and I'm going to be taking some glue and gluing down my house shape first and then on top of there, the rectangle. So I'm just gluing the bits that I folded over, but none of the other bits. And this is going to make like an envelope. There's probably a much easier way to make an envelope, I just, I didn't know. And if I'm going to be sticking things in my bullet journal, I would definitely use PVA glue. Uh, no, I'm using PVA glue. I would definitely use a glue stick because PVA just wrinkles everything. Not that it bothers me that much, but I will definitely be getting a glue stick next time. So here I just labelled it spring clean and added a few more images all around and kind of ripped bits that I didn't want there and yeah you get the idea <laughs> I also use some washi tape to kind of label the envelope I've just written lists on there and then once you have got all of your cards cut out and labeled you can then just slip them into the envelope and they'll stay there and then when you're ready you just take one of the rooms out and tick off everything once you get done and hey I'm just finishing off with some doodles On Instagram, I saw someone create a playlist page in their bullet journal. So I wanted to create one in mine because I thought that that was really cool that you can look back, see what you were listening to, or this is a good way to share your playlists with other people. So I've split my playlist up into three main sections. So I've got a housework section, I've got a chill out or kind of work. I listen to music all the time, so my chill out music is what I listen to when I'm working or designing and then at the bottom it will be my podcasts that word does say pod at the bottom not what it looks like I know but hey we learn things as we go once I had written those down I just stuck down the artwork from the YouTube videos that I go to and listen to and also for the podcasts I took the artwork printed them out and then stuck them on into almost like Polaroids. And then for the page opposite, I wanted a place that I can just write down all of my sticker ideas that I want to design. I've already put the peekaboo poppets on there because I keep forgetting. I took some more little square swatch stickers from my sheets and then here I'm just arranging how I want these images to look and then stuck them down and that was it. A really quick and easy spread this one I finished it off with a few pieces of washi and also some I think I put colors on here and some patterns looking back through my spread I'm really pleased with how this turned out I actually really really like the look of it I think next time I can definitely amp it up a little bit more Next up will be my weekly spreads. So I'm starting off with some more of this brown paper. It's actually really nice to be able to use this brown paper. I've had it for so long and normally I need white lined paper or my children need white lined paper for homework. So it's been a while coming using this and it just makes me super happy because I love the paper. So I just glued a large piece over the top at the left and then down at the bottom right I've just put down one of the calendar stickers that were from my sticker sheets and then I'm just labeling each day of the week I then took some of the round stickers from my sheet so I can put down all of the dates 
and I will do all of the other weeks off camera but I shall give you a little look. So here I will give you a flip through of how March ended up looking. Uh, like I said, I am in love with this way of doing bullet journaling. Let me know down below if you have tried this in your bullet journal or if you actually do this type of style, type of style, hmm, this style in your bullet journal because I'm really excited to try it again next month. It does take a little bit more planning and it takes me a little bit longer to do this than if I was to just doodle or draw. But I like the end result so let me know what you think down below. I hope wherever you are you're having an amazing day and I will speak to you all next time. Bye guys!